What's up everyone? Welcome to Weekly What's New, episode number two. In this video, I've got a few topics for you, but let's just go ahead and jump right into the first one, which is the STL Amp Hub October 2020 update, which brings with it the NGL Power V1, which is based on an angle Powerball. Let's go ahead and give this thing a listen, shall we? Yeah, this thing is impressive, uh, to say the least. So we'll uh, we'll jump into some of the presets that I previously put together just before making this video. Uh, so I have, let's see, there are four new ones, uh, all with the NGL. Uh, so we have the only thing that's really different. Uh, they all have the Fortin 33 in front of it, uh, in front of the amp, uh, and following it is where things change up a little bit with different impulse responses. So we have the the orange 4x12, the Bogner 4x12, Mesa Boogie 4x12, and again, and then we have the NGL 4x12. And so I'm going to just jump through these. I'm gonna loop a section of the audio and I will uh, just make one of the, the tracks. So these are stereo, there's a left and a right track. I'm just gonna make the left track right up the center mono and uh, I'll just loop the guitar track so you can hear it. And then I'll just click through these presets and you can hear the difference. And then we'll listen to them all in the mix as well. All right, so this is ready to go. We'll go ahead and just loop through these and I will change them up as it plays and you can hear the difference. So again, the first one is the NGL with the orange cabinets. Let me get rid of this one. And here we go. All right, so it gives you an idea of what each of them sound like. And as you can see, the only thing that changed is the cabinets. You can see the mic positions and everything, the amp, the Fortin 33, it's all the same. The only difference is the impulse response. You can see how, how big of a difference the impulse responses make. So let's go ahead and listen to each one of these in the full mix now. And we'll start with the orange cabinets here. And we're already on it, so here we go. This is in the mix with the Fortin 33, Angle Powerball, and Orange 4x12 cabinets. Okay, now we'll change and we'll go to the Bogner cabinets. Same thing. All right, and now to the Mesa Boogie rectifier cabinet.
And the last one is the angle cabinet. All right, now the last thing I'm gonna do, uh, just to try and show what each of these sound like in the mix a little bit uh, a little bit better of a way of doing it maybe just so that you can actually hear the differences live as the track is playing versus having the pause in between um, obviously you can when you're watching this video on YouTube you can just kind of skip around real quick and you can probably compare them that way um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just click through the presets first on the left track and then on the right track and that way you can at least compare and hear what they sound like it'll also give you an idea of what they sound like um, when some of them are mixed so here we'll, here's what we'll do is we'll go ahead and loop this and back this up. Both start on the orange. And here's what they sound like. So you could hear that difference each time I change that in the left channel. Now we're going to do the right channel. All right. So just to give you an idea of what these presets sound like, um, there you go as a quick run through and just to kind of highlight the additional new features as I mentioned before there are updates to the UI of the tuner just to kind of make it a little bit more uh, user friendly and then the other update is we have the amp as you can see on the screen here the NGL power 100 and then there are a couple new cabinets here we have the Vox AC30 uh, let's see we have some new mics in here too um, these are probably something that I, I probably won't play with much. If you watch my, my videos, you know, I, I, I like the, I like the chug. Um, so I probably won't do much with those myself, but in the future, if I do, I'll, I'll, I'll put that in a video and let y'all know. So for now, let's go ahead and jump into topic number two for this video, which is still related to presets. And specifically, it is a new website that I launched recently. Um, called Preset Swap. You can find it at presetswap.com. And this uh, is where you can find my preset. So right here, this is the one that I've published uh, previously. I published this, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago, right around the time I published the initial Amp Hub video. And you can come in here and you can just click download. It'll download it. You can go ahead and import that into Amp Hub and you now will have those presets. Um, you know, if you like it, you can hit the like button as well. You can hit share and share it. You just copy the link here and share that. Um, but I'm pretty excited about this. I figured I'd share that, share this in the, in the video, just kind of give you a highlight of, of what the, the site can do here. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it's basically, uh, you, you share your presets. Others can download it. Uh, if you're looking for, for presets yourself, you can use the search box up here to type in specific search terms or search by a specific uh, plugin and it'll filter all those results and if you have plugins that you want to share I highly recommend you do so jump on the site register and then you can go to your account and you can click upload a preset right here or of course it's right there in the menu to upload a preset and click upload preset you give it a name you give it some notes let people know if, if this if maybe there's another preset that that uh, that kind of goes hand in hand with this maybe some IRs from like GDD Zilla Cabs for example uh, you can also link to a video a YouTube video or a SoundCloud audio sample and then you select the plugin that uh, that this preset is for choose the file hit submit it uploads it and it will show it in your list of presets uh, additionally the other thing I want to note here is you can actually choose a custom URL. So mine is actually presetswap.com slash users slash my first name, Jeremy. Um, these are on a first come first serve basis. So if you uh, if you register and you wanna choose something short or sweet like your first name before there's a ton of users on here, recommend you do that soon. 
Um, and then that's basically the overview I wanted to give here on Preset Swap. So check out the site. Let me know what you think. If there's any specific features you can think of that you don't see that you want to see, let me know. I'd love to add those. And just looking for general feedback. But I hopefully hopefully we can kind of you know help the community out here with just sharing some creative aspects of what we do with with these presets. So uh, I've, I was super thrilled to put this together and, and publish this. So y'all let me know what you think of it. All right, so moving on. Um, this is basically just a quick note um, that I'm going to be working on a, a video walkthrough on how I mix uh, drums and and all the you know the side chain comp you know, like compression and parallel compression and and mixing and where I set all my levels and everything and um, because I've had a lot of comments on a lot of the recent videos that I've done saying that. Uh, the mixes sound good and actually asking if I can put together some info on how I mix the drums. So very happy to do that. And that will be in an upcoming video. So if you're not a subscriber, look down below for that subscribe button. Go ahead and click that. I'll wait. All right. So moving on, the last topic for today's video is I wanted to highlight a new, uh, well, at least new to me, uh, guitar brand that is they look absolutely fantastic and i would love to own one of these guitars uh they they look gorgeous if you own one i would love for you to hit me up if you have videos i'd love to watch those and check it out hear what it sounds like if you have audio samples send them my way um but the brand is od od guitars you can find them at od-guitars.com they actually have this um it's like eight and a half minutes long um short film they published and you're seeing samples of it on their website right here uh the little red button i don't know if you can read the small text but it says full video you click that it actually takes you to youtube and you can watch this amazing video um of him actually building the guitar you're seeing on the screen right now um from scratch just grabbing the blocks of wood and using the the machine to cut everything out and sanding and lay inlaying the, the frets like everything it's it's really really cool um but the guitars are absolutely gorgeous and I have been eyeing them since I came across the brand and basically just looking for feedback. If anybody has one of these, uh, let me know what you think. I, I would love to know, you know, how, how does it play? How does it sound? Uh, yeah, let me know because I would love to potentially get one of these. So that's, that's basically it for today. Uh, obviously the big highlight in this past week was the update to SDL Amp Hub. If you're a subscriber and you have not updated, highly recommend you do so. Version 1.0.2, I uh, believe is what it's called. Uh, and you get these new updates with the with the power, the angle powerball. And uh, and I'll be sharing these new presets that I put together that I demoed at the beginning of the video. I'll I'll share these on the preset swap and I'll link to it in the description or in the comments of this video. So download those, check them out, let me know what you think. And until next week. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed and hit the like and share. Let your friends know what you saw here. Hit me in the comments with your thoughts on anything. And as always, thank you for watching and thank you for your support.